Hello everyone, welcome to D31 of the Anvari Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. Let's quickly walk through today's question. Today's question seems to be the easiest question of the January challenge which is richest customer wealth. Here in this question we are given a grid of size M cross N where each cell represents the amount of money held by the ith customer in jth bank. What do we need to do? We need to return the wealthiest customer of all the list. So here in this question we are given the various accounts that are held by the 0th customer 1 2 3 the second row represents the various accounts held by the first customer we need to identify the wealthiest customer out of these two customers similarly here we have the 0th customer accounts as 1,5 first customer accounts as 7,3 and second customers accounts as 3,5 so we sum each row up and we go and identify the maximum one out of the list. In the end, we simply need to return the amount that is held by the wealthiest customer. Just for the sake of it and following the regular pattern, let's quickly walk through the PPT that I have created for this and let's get started. Richest customer wealth, lead code 1672. It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. What we are going to do in this question, we'll go iterate row wise one by one and we'll calculate the sum of all the accounts that are present for the ith row. For example, for this particular row, what are the accounts 1, 2 and 3. So let's sum those up, we get 6. Next, in, for the next row, we get 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. For the third row, we get 9 plus 6, 15. 15 plus 11, 26. So which is the maximum one out of uh, these three tota totals? 26 is the maximum and this is what we need to return. Pretty simple and straightforward. The time complexity of this approach is order of n cross m where n signifies the number of rows and m signifies the number of columns. The space complexity of this approach is constant space. We are not using anything extra to actually uh, build the solution up. Uh, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the question. Here I have taken a max variable and initialized to min value. I start iterating over accounts. I have created a current wealth variable, which is basically responsible for adding or calculating current wealth per customer. And I iterate through accounts array. I add it to the current wealth. I go and identify the maximum one. And in the end, I simply return the max one out. With this, we have successfully completed the January lead code challenge. And I hope you guys would have got this batch. I hope. Uh, you guys are also seeing all ticks in the January challenge and this brings me to the end of today's session. There is a very humble request that I want to make today. I, I'll feel highly accomplished if you will put a lead code post tagging coding decoded channel. Uh, it will give me motivation further to continue it for, for the upcoming months. I would like to thank you again for uh, maintaining the consistency along with me. And cheers to all the developers who have been associated uh, with the GitHub community and regularly posting solutions over there. To be specific, let's quickly look at the contributors for the January month on the GitHub Coding Decoded repo. So let's go and have a look at it. Let me just select the January month. And the first one is obviously me, Sanchit. Next is Karthik. He has been actively following along with me. He codes in Python. Next we have Pranav. Pranav is a C++ developer. Special thanks to Sham as well. He codes as well in C++. Deepal has recently started posting solutions in Swift. Himankit also codes in C++. Saurav also codes in C++. And Himanshu Parashar also codes in C++. So I would like to thank all of you guys. I hope this channel and this medium is helping you build consistency and you are following along. Uh, also, there is a special reward that I'm planning over this weekend for you guys. So stay tuned. I'll let you know when to join in. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with February Lead Code Challenge. Take care. Goodbye.